Hey y'all, welcome back to yet another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. In fact, this is a brand new week and I am so excited to get started in drawing new animals for the week. Today's animal is one that's actually a very, very fascinating animal. And I saw a lot of these around my house in Austin, Texas. So I'm excited to draw this one today, but that kind of brings me on the topic of drawing animals. Um, I'm curious to know what other things you would like to draw. Now I know some of you have actually taken a survey that I put out uh, just recently and it's on Instagram. You go to the link in our bio and you can see a little survey. I'd really appreciate it if you went out there and took that survey as well. If you haven't already, uh, it really, really helps me figure out what I need to do better or if there's any ideas you have for the show, I'd love to throw them in. I even ask you, is there anything else you'd like to draw? So that's a great place to put it or you can just direct message me on Instagram at Brave Kids Art Club. That's totally fine. Or email me. Any way you want to get a hold of me, I just want to know what you're thinking because we don't get comments here on this uh, kids' YouTube channel. But I am really excited to draw all sorts of things. I want to move outside of animals too. We'll still throw in animals here and there because I absolutely love drawing animals and I know a lot of you do as well. So we won't ever lose animals. But I want to start sneaking in some other things that we get to draw as well because I'm sure you guys have a lot of awesome things that you'd like to learn how to draw. So anyway, I won't go on any further. Let's talk about the animal we're going to draw today. All right, I'm going to give you one big hint. It's a type of bird. It can run up to 20 miles per hour. It kills and eats rattlesnakes. And there's an old cartoon where there's a coyote that loves chasing this bird. That was a big hint. That's right, we're drawing a road runner today. These are super cool birds, they're really fun to draw, but let's make sure before we get started, we have all the tools we need. All right, you know the drill. We need a nice clean sheet of paper. We need a sharpened pencil. We're gonna need an eraser of some kind, and we're gonna need a dark marker or a pen for some outlining. Uh, this pencil is for our sketching. We love doing sketching. That's the most important part uh, to figure out what our drawing's gonna look like, and that's where we make a lot of mistakes and we erase it. So, and then at the very end, Boom, we got some colors and it's gonna be a blast coloring in our Roadrunner today. You don't have to have markers, I have markers, but if you wanna use colored pencils, crayons, paint, whatever you wanna use, that's all perfectly fine. All right, let's start with our sketch. All right, so let's start with the main mass right here, the main part of their body. And, uh, and then we'll kind of figure out where the head and the tail fit. Now the tail's pretty long, so I gotta figure that out pretty early and leave room for the legs. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna kind of start off by drawing the top of their body. So I'm gonna have a little curve, but I'm gonna have it curve upwards a bit. Does that sound good? I'm gonna go up a little bit, and then we're gonna go like this. Maybe go out a little bit more. And then we're gonna go like a really thin leaf. There we go. Maybe more than that. A slightly thicker leaf. There we go, that's what I was thinking. Now this isn't the exact shape we're gonna have at the very end, but it's a good way to start so we can start figuring out the main shapes of our bird. All right, let's do another one right here. We're gonna do another one. It's gonna go down a little bit, a little bit more. Down a little bit more like this, and then it's gonna come up and it's gonna come short. See that? There we go. Now we're having it run because they don't really fly. <laughs> Not a lot. They can glide and they can kind of get up. They can only even fly if they run. They get a running start because their wings aren't very strong and their legs are pretty muscular and strong because they run so well. So it's just a little heavy and they don't really do it. They'd rather run, which is really cool. And that's why they call them road runners. All right, so we got that little shape underneath there and these are gonna be their wings, but we're just figuring out where the different body parts are. So. They have a long bill too, a long beak. So I wanna make sure I have enough room for that. So I'm gonna put their head pretty far forward because they run with their head pushed forward quite a ways. All right, so let's do that. Nah, is that gonna be good? Yeah, that looks pretty decent. I think that's pretty good. And then we're gonna connect that head, that circle to this part right here. We're gonna kind of stretch it out right there. There we are. And then let's go like this. Instead of just going to the bottom of this, I'm gonna kinda of go up, curve it, and we're gonna hit this, this right here, and gonna come down. Now, if it doesn't hit that exactly, that's fine. It just means I'm kinda of misjudged it a little bit. But I'm gonna kinda of move that down here. It's a big curve. 
All right, let's figure out that beak, how long the beak is before I go too much further. All right, let's do this. We'll do a long, nice long pointy beak. And it's important that they have that pointy beak because of the, the fact, for that fact that I mentioned earlier about them eating rattlesnakes. Now, not all of them, not all roadrunners, there's different types of roadrunners, but the greater roadrunner is a bigger one and it has a very, very sharp bill. And that bill can pierce the top of the head of a snake and kill it. Or they actually grab it by the mouth with their bill and they'll smack its head on a rock. It's pretty crazy. And I had no idea that there were birds that were trying to take on rattlesnakes. I think that's pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty brave birds. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think we got the bill out there enough. And we gotta make sure there's enough room for that tail. So I'm gonna kinda hide that tail under here. It's not super, well, maybe I'll, I'll bring it up a little bit higher. It's not super long. I'd like it to be a little longer, but maybe we can, maybe we can work with this for now. Let's do a little line right here. And we'll go up like that. Now, because I'm looking at this and it's looking like I don't have enough room, I might need to make the body a little bit smaller to make sure that that tail feels a little bit longer because I kind of want it to end right there. So what I'll do is I can just take this and go back like this. And then we have our eraser for a good reason. <laughs> we need to make some changes. Now they erase all of this stuff under there. All right, so I think I'm gonna take this now and kind of start under here and kind of bring that back over here. There we are. So we're doing a lot of little changes and that's okay, that's okay. I, I try to plan out these drawings to make it really easy for you to follow along. But sometimes you just kind of have to experiment and kind of figure out where things are on there uh, and, and how they relate size-wise to each other because that's the hard part is making sure that they all kind of fit this, the right proportions, the size in comparison to the other different parts of the body. All right, well, I think this is pretty good. Even though it's not perfect, we're not looking for perfect. We're looking for awesome. And I think this is gonna be awesome, so. All right, now they also have a little thing on the top of their head, like a little crest on the top of their head. So let's work that in there. After, you know what, let's actually make sure the shape of the, the head's right. So I'm gonna follow this line around now that I have where everything's supposed to be. And I'm gonna kinda make this look a little bit more streamlined. Like that, it's gonna kinda go straight down into the bill. Like that, there we go. Not, not so round. They're built for speed. So it should probably look like that. There we go. And then on the top of their head, well, we need to start right here from where the bill meets their face. Let's go up like this. They have this cool little crest up there. And it goes back. And we'll go like that. Yeah, I like the look of that. Something like that. There we go. Yeah, they're actually part of the cuckoo bird family. Cuckoo bird is actually a thing. You might have heard of cuckoo clocks and all that stuff, but yeah, they're real birds. And uh, this is part of the Roadrunner is part of the cuckoo family. Okay, so I think we are now at the point where we should probably draw the legs. I know I jump around quite a bit. I feel I feel bad that you have to kind of follow along sometimes because I just kind of jump all over the, the illustration but that's because I'm trying to figure it all out. And when I do that, I kind of get in the mode of being like, oh yeah, and this, oh, and this, and that. It's just how I work. And I'm trying to, trying to be better for these videos to make it easier for you to follow. So I apologize for that. Okay, now just do a diagonal line right over there for the leg. Now I could make the legs thicker because they actually have very strong legs, like I was saying, because they can run so fast. And they got these really strong legs. But I think, I think I'm just gonna draw them like little lines, because they still are pretty thin, <laughs> regardless of how strong they are. And then we're gonna draw their feet, their toes. So let's draw them kind of, if it's running, we're gonna have a big long, they've got pretty big feet for their, for the size of the bird they are. We're gonna have those kind of going forward there. And then we're gonna have a couple of them running backwards, going backwards. Because their feet are actually, their toes, I should say, they have two toes in the front and they have two toes in the back. And they look like when you put them to get, how the, 
an X. They look like an X. <laughs> and so that's why I drew it like this. And maybe it's a little more subtle than that. And I can take this guy off right here. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Let's draw a little triangle upside down right over here on the back. And that's going to be the little leg on the back side. And then we'll do a straight line right here. Well, I should say a diagonal line, but we're not going to make any other bends or anything. And then we'll do the same thing, but we're going to curve it back like that. And then, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to see those ones maybe. Maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I want to show that. You know, you don't have to show all four every time. I think it's fine just to show because maybe the other ones are kind of hidden behind the other toes. So I'm just going to go like this. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to do that for now. Okay, now it's starting to look like a roadrunner. You got those long legs and you got the little crest on the top and they're long, sleek birds. They are really cool looking. We saw them on our road and when we lived in Austin in our house, they had all sorts of animals. I told you, there's so many animals in our yard, but roadrunners would run around there and they would look around for different bugs. Not only do they eat like rattlesnake, but a lot more commonly they eat Lots of different types of bugs, and they eat cactus, and they'll eat lizards. They'll eat lots of things. They, they live in drier areas in the southwest, like uh, southwest of the states, uh, the United States, and in Mexico you'll find them. But uh, they, like, they like deserts, and they like the heat. Okay. So this wing right here, I don't know if I need it connected all the way. That's why I got my eraser, so I can go like that. Oh, there you go. I like that better. I don't want to have it connected all the way up at the top. Oh, we forgot the eye. The eye is really important to make this a make this an awesome little friend here. So let's do a big eyeball. And while I'm looking forward, the big pupil right there. And then I'm going to kind of do like a little triangle right here for the beak. There we go. Maybe the eye could be a little bigger. And then I'm going to do, uh, not halfway, I'm going to kind of do a little bit lower. I'm going to draw the mouth. Just a little line right underneath there. The top is bigger than the bottom. If you put it right in the middle, sometimes it looks kind of weird. But if you put it at the bottom, it, uh, or if you put it closer to the bottom, it makes it feel a little bit more correct. But guess what? You're drawing it, and you can make it look however you like. I think it's important to say that I don't want you to have yours look exactly like mine and panic or anything like that about it not looking like mine because it doesn't have to. It's gonna it want it to be yours. And so that means you can take any creative liberties that you want. If you want to make the tail longer or shorter, or the eye bigger or different or anything, you can totally do that, and that's, t that's completely fine. Uh, this is how I'm drawing it right now. And uh, even if you do copy what I'm drawing, which, which I assume most of you are doing, it's still going to be yours because a little bit of you always comes out when you're drawing something. So that's really cool. So don't feel like you have to get, there's no perfect here. There's no, there's no, there's no perfect. This isn't even perfect. So you don't have to feel too obligated to make it look exactly right. Don't need to stress out about that at all. You're doing just fine and we're playing. This is fun. Okay, now let's do, let's see, what do we have left? I think before I get to the colors, oh, I wanted to show the little markings on the back of the eye. They have a really cool marking right here, like this. This little mark on the back of here is going to be the mark of a greater Roadrunner. That's, that's, that's kind of drawing right now. So it has this little red mark. The reason why I'm drawing it is because it's got some cool colors. It's got a little red mark right here. And then it has a little blue mark right over here. And the bill's kind of grayish black, but I'm going to make it blue <laughs> just because I want to. But uh, I think maybe we add a few little details on the wings. We can do a lot of this with the marker here. I'm going to put a few curves right there. Now you can do whatever you'd like here, however you'd like to do it. Maybe a couple lines here on the tail. And uh, But I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think it looks really fun. It, just fits in my page. So now I just need to get my marker out and start outlining before I start erasing all the under sketch. But now I'm ready to do my, my outline. There we go. Now, if any of you have seen Wiley e. Coyote and the Roadrunner, those cartoons I grew up on and I absolutely love them. Uh, I always thought, you know, Roadrunners actually got chased by coyotes because of that because of that uh, cartoon, but it's not really true. 
coyotes, they I mean they live in the same area. The, a lot of the there's a lot of coyotes in those desert areas where you find these uh, roadrunners, but the coyotes really don't care to chase after roadrunners because one, they're actually faster than roadrunners. They're like twice as fast as a roadrunner, which kind of is funny. But also they're scavengers, so they they don't really need to be chasing birds around. Uh, they like to scavenge after a lot of times already dead things. They don't have to work as hard. They're a little lazy that way. So they, the coyote really doesn't chase the roadrunner, which is kind of sad to think about since that's my childhood watching those, those episodes. <laughs> but it's still a fun cartoon. And they don't go, the roadrunners don't go beep beep like the one in the cartoon. They make all sorts of noise. They make some grunting noise. They make clicking noises, but they don't beep. Sorry to burst your bubble. Man, I'm kind of a downer this episode. I shouldn't be so down on it. <laughs> They're really cool. Well, we did learn that they take out rattlesnakes, which I thought was really cool and very, very fascinating. All right, let's do this cool crest on the top of here. Ooh, what should we name our Roadrunner? I don't really have a name for my Roadrunner. Do you have a name already? Be thinking of one. There's lots of time left. You still got to finish our outlining. You got to do our racing, and then we'll go to the coloring. That's usually when I kind of come up with my names. It's during the coloring portion. All right. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. I wish I had a little bit more room. That tail is actually really, really long. I wish I had more room for the tail. But that's okay. Then I would have to make my whole thing a whole lot smaller. And I don't really want to do that. <gasps> my marker is running out. I think I said that last episode. It truly is running out. I think I think we can finish it though. I think we can finish this episode. <laughs> Let's just pray it lasts. There we go. Add these little ones right here. Oh, another fascinating fact about Roadrunners is they don't need to drink water. They get all the water they need, which is kind of crazy because they live in a lot of deserty areas, very hot, dry areas. But uh, they get all the water they need from the bugs that they eat. They eat a lot of like crickets and things, and they get all the water from that. Isn't that pretty wild? Do you remember any other animals that we have drawn that don't really need a lot of water? You think of any of them? I know one. I'm sure we had lots of them, but the koala. The koala gets all of its water from eucalyptus leaves, which I thought was fascinating. They don't have to get water. So that was pretty cool. All right. Well, I think we are finished with our outline and we are ready to start coloring. But uh, oh, first I need to go through and erase all the sketch, of course. I'll get, I'll get rid of all my, my pencil underneath there. You go ahead and finish yours up. If you need to pause it at any point and catch up, do that. Um, but let's color and uh, think of a name for your animal and we'll catch up right after. Okay, so you see I cheated just a little bit because I used whiteout to cover up some and make up those uh, those little stripes and, and dots on my Roadrunner, but I tried doing it a different way. I tried knocking it out and just not coloring in the white and that was not going to happen. That's really, really difficult. So if you have some way of drawing over top of it, maybe you bring out a little bit of paint or a dark, or, a, or if you have like a white, um, a white marker or like a paint pen or something like that. Uh, you can try and do it, but get creative and you can make those those cool spots on there. I think that's just perfect. That really makes my Roadrunner, those final little, those little markings on there, make it look so, so cool. But uh, I really like how the blues and the reds turned out on there. It's that cool little pop of color that, uh, that I really like. But I'm so proud of my Roadrunner and I hope you are too. And remember, 
it doesn't have to look just like this one. It has to look like your Roadrunner. So you've already done that. Congratulations. And uh, just keep drawing and having fun. You don't have to worry about it being perfect because there's no perfect. All right, so I'm going to sign my name on here because I'm super proud of what I made. And hopefully you are too and we'll sign your name on your artwork like we always do so everybody knows that it's our work and we're proud of the work we've done. Thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. This has been a blast. And again, please take that survey. Just go on Instagram and just look into our bio and there's a little survey button there that you can take. It's like a two minute survey. Um, or you can just reach out any other way on our social or email and let us know how we're doing, uh, what else you would like me to draw and so on and so forth. But. Um, you guys are awesome. Remember, we do this Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we do it three times a week, and uh, they're oh so much fun. So please subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.